the Teacher 5 a Day videos, I'm going to focus on the 7 tips that we can all use to get us through the next 7 months. The first tip is prepare. So by that I'm not necessarily talking about preparing for um, all of our resources, which is obviously a good thing, but preparing ourselves mentally to enter this next two thirds of the school year. Um, we are now on holiday as we can see where Christmas is coming, it's all lovely, however, it's all winding down and we need to get ourselves into the mindset that we are now entering, you know, this final, well, almost final leg of our journey. Tip two, planning for planning. So what I do when I plan is I, uh, I use iDossio, which I highly recommend, and inside of it I have, I've merged it with my school calendar, and what I do is I go through my scheme of work and I set out my lessons that I'm going to need for the next half term. And this way I can pencil everything in, see where they fall, adjust uh, accordingly with the school calendar, um, all the lessons, and only then do I then start planning my lessons. I like to see everything laid out, and this way I know um, how my scheme of work fits into the year, um, if I'm going to have any revision time at the end, and it just lets me have a good overview of how everything is going to fall into place. Number three is expectations. So we've prepped and we've planned and now we're ready to go and we need to be conscientious of what we expect from ourselves. As teachers, we always want the most and the best from ourselves to deliver to our students, but we need to be able to set realistic goals in order to not feel like we're floundering. So small goals as we go through will make the whole year a lot more manageable than just trying to do everything at once. So by doing that, we are going to be a good contributing member to our department, to our school, and to our students. Number four, caffeine. Number five, collaboration. As teachers, it's really hard for us sometimes to just stop and ask for help. We think that we have to do it all ourselves, but that's not the case. There are tons of resources that we can go to besides our own school and department um, and things like Twitter which can you can get a hashtag teacher five a day on there to follow or YouTube or people's blogs on there are an excellent way for us to be able to utilize stuff that other people have already put forward and use that to uh, energize ourselves and to get new information and then hopefully that will allow us to give back to the community with our own great resources and ideas. Number six is R&R. &R. We all work really hard throughout the whole year, and if we keep going at that pace, we are just going to burn out. So we need to make sure that we take time for us, whether that be binging on a Netflix show, catching up with a friend for coffee, traveling to amazing locations, whatever you need to do to unplug and make time for you, you have to do it. Only by recharging our own batteries can we give back fully to the kids. And lastly, we have hope. We need to hope that everything that we've planned all year comes to fruition, that everything we've prepared for, everything that we've worked so hard for, uh, sticks with the kids and that they enter their GCSEs uh, confidently and full of knowledge, that they enter the next school year feeling proud of themselves and ready to tackle it, that they go on to college or A-level and they're ready to take on the world. Uh, we need to have hope that everything that we are doing is, is good and that it will help people and that they'll feel it. So thank you for watching and that wraps up my video.